I am not a professional gamer, nor am I a professional game reviewer, nor am I a YouTuber. I make videos for fun because I'm up late at night. I'm a single dad with two kids who at night is bored and just wants to make a few videos. I have an opinion like everybody else. I'm not here to give, I'm just here to give my opinion. If you don't like it, that's fine. I don't mind. I'm just a single dad raising two kids who likes gaming and I play a lot of games but I am your average Joe uh, that's all I am I don't play to break records I don't play to make money I just play for a couple of hours to pass a few hours at night that's it and I just thought I'd like to clear that up before the start of this video so please enjoy. The other day I had a rant uh, about Bethesda and how I just can't play the games. Um, I was told that New Vegas is different and it's quite good. Now I played New Vegas when it first came out on the 360. Um, but I've been assured that it's decent on the PC. So I have installed it and I am going to give it a go. Because as I said in the Bethesda video, I'm always willing to give game, games a shot. A good shot. But when it was on the 360, it was a, an absolute horrendous mess on the 360. But I've also been told that the backward compatible version on the Xbox uh, bangs up the frames as well. and makes it. Uh, they've made it a little better on that. But I'm just going to go and do it on the PC instead. Because, you know, it's got to be a better experience. But I'm willing to give it a shot anyway. But my thought was, what games do you like? What games do I like? Now, I've been gaming for a long, long time. I'm talking. I'm talking. I started on the Master System. Playing games like... Uh, Time Soldiers, a game you've probably never ever heard of. Um, Alex Kid, I'm talking years and years and years ago. We had like 13 of us who had to share one console. Um, it, but but since then, in my late like later years, the main games that I play are all co-op games. I I have only I met a few guys on Call of Duty in the early days of. Um, Modern War, Modern Warfare, Call of Duty Four, uh, on the Xbox 360 when it first came around, and just met a group of guys. And since then, I've only ever really played with them. Them same guys. We all we all play with each, play games with each other. Um, but mainly, one of the guys of that group, um, I play all my game main games with. Uh, we play co-op games. That's all we play constantly. Um, so, yes, I've played a, a lot of janky games in my time. A lot of janky games. And a lot of them, though they were janky, and as janky as some Bethesda games, they were, they, they were, I don't know, they were still enjoyable. There was, there's, there's, see, some games have got this, like a little bit of a heart to them. And as I said in the Bethesda video, I understand why people appreciate Fallout games, Skyrim games. I understand that. That's why I'll watch people play them on stream from start to finish. Because watching somebody play a game, you can't see. You kind of can't see the jankiness. So you don't, you know, even though you know what it feels like to play, you can't see it when you're watching somebody else play it who enjoys the game and knows the how to play the game properly so i enjoy watching them so not for one second do i say that they're bad to other people they're just bad to, it's just me i i just cannot get along with them um but nowadays oof, i don't know i've got quite a decent gamer score me on the old uh, the old xbox um I stuck with Xbox for one reason, mainly because 
of achievements and my digital library. You know, when Phil Spencer said that they lost the war on the digital library front because of the digital library front, he, he was bang on the nail because I have no reason to get a PlayStation because my Xbox has got every game I own, basically. All my games are for Xbox. I've got you know, hundreds of them. Um, I've got a library with nearly uh, God knows how many I can't, I can't, digital library. I don't know how many is in there. Um, but I have played a lot, a lot of games. I'm not coming from it like I play one or two games and I just don't like Bethesda games. There are a lot of games I don't like. But there's a lot of games I do like that are still janky. Um, so I don't need to buy a PlayStation because I own a PC as well. So nowadays, if a PlayStation game comes out, some half the time they release it on PC anyway, so you just you can just play it on there. But I do like playing on my Xbox because it means I don't have to sit in a straight up chair like this. And I can just uh, chill on the old bed, you know what I mean? Or chill on the old sofa. But what games do I play? I play anything co-op. I play Grounded. The last game I played co-op was Grounded. A uh, bit of a kiddie game, but... You know, when you're playing co-op with a mate, it's fun. It's just fun. It's more fun when you're playing with, playing with somebody else. Um, we played all the Divisions. Played... There's a janky game. Dead Island. The original Dead Island. Riptide and uh, Dead Island. Absolute janky messes. But... When you've watched nine seasons of The Walking Dead and you say, I want to go and kill some zombies, that's the game you put on. Do you know what I mean? That's the game that you go and uh, kill some zombies on. Uh, Dying Light, played that co-op. Uh, played all the Far Cry's co-op. Um, World War Z's, play, play them. Sniper Elites, Ghost Recons. Um... There are so many halos, obviously. Play play them co op. I can't even count the number of times that we've played play through that co op. Too many times. Um Call of Duties, but the like uh side missions, the, the you know the special ops. We've blasted through them to get all the stars. Um Play so many co-op games. It's some um, we even we we literally uh, not what about six months ago did Crackdown three together. That was a jam. We've done all the Saints rolls together. We've we we blitz through. We me and mate we literally blitz through any co-op game that's available. Because oh Borderlands as well. We've done all them. Literally done all them. Uh, like God knows how many hours we put into Borderlands games. Apparently there's a new movie coming out for Borderlands. Ooh, can't wait for that. The trailer looks uh, a janky mess. Um, but it, I reckon it'll still be fun. I'd, I'd, I'll watch it anyway. Um, who doesn't like a bit of stupid Kevin Hart? Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll play anything, me. I was thinking about doing a video on the worst game I've ever played. And the... I can, I'll name it now, the worst game I ever played, I th I'm, I'm sure it was on, it might have been on the OG Xbox, or it might have been the PlayStation 2, I'm thinking it might have been the PlayStation 2, but it was called Fall of Liberty, and it was about, if I remember right, it was just some dude in New York, and the Nazis had come and invaded New York, and it was, oh my god, it was horrendous absolutely horrendous and still to this day i remember it being one of the worst games i've ever played ever oh that game jesus i'm gonna i think i'll do a video on that game on its own because it is horrendous it's the worst game to ever be released but i still played it i'll play a lot of horrible games so my point with the bethesda thing was just you know People like tea and other people like coffee. I just cannot drink coffee. You know what I mean? 
I like tea. I'm very sophisticated in that way. <laughs> or I pretend to be, at least. So, yeah. Um, but I do play a lot, a lot of games. Um, even though I'm un basically getting old as shit. Uh, but, you know, I'll never give it up. Because I, I can't watch TV. That ain't happening. Ever. Um... I can't deal with TV. It's like I'd rather spend two, three, four hours on a game and just enjoy it. And then, you know, it's better than TV anyway, let's put it that way. So it's just a short video on what kind of games do I play. And I will play, near enough, anything. Anything. I play all the Assassin's Creed. I've done every single Assassin's Creed. From start to finish, collected every chest possible. <laughs> Black flag, every chest possible, every every hidden thing. I'll do the whole game, hundred um, percent. Even I even enjoyed the last, the last. No, I enjoyed Origins the most. I didn't really enjoy Odyssey, but I still did it. Um, and then the Viking one. Can't even remember what that name. Valhalla was it? I I didn't really get on with it but there's one thing you can say about ubisoft games is one whether you like it or not the smooth as shit because i love far cry um i love assassin's creed games ghost recons are uh, one of my top tier games i love uh, ghost recon games the division amazing i love the division so in general ubisoft to me I enjoy the way they make games because they're massive for a start. See, so you're getting your money's worth. Now, a lot of people will say there's too too much grinding. I don't care about grinding. I'll grind all day collecting everything around the map. But I will never, ever, and this is never, ever, pay a penny and buy some stupid coins. That ain't happening ever. I've never bought a DLC. It, well, I bought DLCs. I'll never buy, spend money on a microtransaction on a Ubisoft game ever. And I have done near enough every Ubisoft game except for racing games, biking, snowboarding games. I don't do none of that. That's, as I said, my hands are a bit too uh, old for that. I ain't got the speed for all them button presses at once. Um, so, yeah. But uh, I love Assassin's Creed games, Far Cry games. I don't know, I can't even remember what else Ubisoft do. I'm sure they do something else. But the thing is about Ubisoft games is they're pretty smooth. They do run really well. And I love the, like, a lot of people, they'll fly through the main story of a Ubisoft game as quick as they possibly can. But you should never do that because... I'll tell you what I did enjoy, Watch Dogs 1, 2 and 3. I played number two first, then went to number one, then went to number three. But on Legions, on three, I played the DLC first, which is crazy, I know. But because I'd just played number one, I wanted to continue the story of the main character in that. I can't remember his name, but I wanted to play, play the main character in that, and the DLC was him. So I thought, well, I'm going to play the DLC first, which I did, and then I did the main game. And I thought they were actually very good. But, you know, I'm just, sometimes I just find, because the third one was, a, a, what, 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 what's the word for it? A little bit boring, I think, is the word. But the gameplay itself, I, enjoy, I, I really enjoy. I enjoy the smooth they make games. Do, they do make games really, really well, except for Skull and Bones, which looks like one of that. No, thanks. Um, so yeah, they're the kind of games I do play and enjoy. Bad, good, don't know. It's just what I like. And uh, thanks for listening. What games do you personally enjoy? I'll tell you if I've played them. I'll tell you if I like them. Tell you, tell you what I think of them. Uh, not that that matters because it's my opinion, isn't it? <laughs>
does my opinion matter? It doesn't. Oh, see you again in the next one.